Hi everyone, I'm super excited today to show you a very powerful and simple uh, web scraper. Uh, super powerful, 20 lines of Python code. It's going to use Python and then AI, ChatGPT specifically. So you can do all kinds of really awesome uh, web scraping or analytics or asking very complex questions. So if, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, check out other videos on my, on my channel and uh, post any kind of comments or something I didn't get right or something you don't understand. Okay, before we dive into the code, you need to make sure you come here to OpenAI, and you're going to have to create an account. Uh, you're going to have to come in here because we're going to need API keys uh, to do this work because our program is going to be calling uh, the APIs of ChatGPT4. So how, how you get here is come to Personal and View API Keys, and you get your key there. You can copy it and save it because we're going to need it uh, later on. Also, the library that we're going to be using in Python is called LangChain. Uh, so you install it the way you install other uh, Python programs. You're going to do a pip3 uh, install LangChain. So let's, let's show you that. So pip3 install LangChain. Now, mine's super fast, right, because I've already installed it, but you're, you're, it'll take a bit to pull everything down. But once that's done... Uh, now we can actually get in here and actually walk through the code. And as I said before, in less than 20 lines of code, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, the most powerful web scraper uh, using a chat GPT-4. So the first line here, the first three lines here are actually importing uh, a couple of very important tools from LangChain. One is the web base loader. That's how we're going to tell LangChain to load these websites. Okay, we're going to be sending ChatGPT a lot of context and, and to ask questions about that context. In order to do that, we have to convert it to a vector database. And thankfully, that's what this does. And it comes from this LangChain indexes uh, library. And then also here, the LangChain uh, chat models, OpenA OpenAI chat, OpenAI, this allows us to actually grab and use ChatGPT4. You have to use this library to do that. So let's let's jump in here. So we, we made a simple uh, function, and the function here is web uh, underscore uh, QA. I don't know why I called it QA, but uh, basically web question. And what we're going to pass it is a list of URLs, a, a query like the question, and we don't need this. That was from an older uh, program. So... We're going to pass it a list of URLs, a, a query, a, a question. And now what do we do when we first get in? So line six here, we're going to actually instantiate our open AI object. So we call it with chat open AI. The model name we're going to use is GPT-4. There's many other models that you can use. And you can, you can dive into the documentation of LangChain. It'll tell you which models you can use. Max tokens, uh, 2048. If you don't set this, uh, the max tokens defaults to something else, and so it'll truncate your answer. So chat GBT will not be able to deliver to you the full answer if you don't give it uh, you know, a, a, a greater token size. Okay, next line here, we're going to create an array, uh, a list. So this is, we're going to call this loader list. Because remember, we're passing in the URL list. And so for each, so we're just going to uh, write a simple for loop here. Uh, for each of the, the URLs in the URL list, we're going to print a debug here, right? We're going to say, hey, we're loading this URL. And then we're going to add to our loader list uh, the web-based loader. And that's going to be the URL. I is the URL. So we're going to print it. And then we're going to load it here with the web-based loader. Okay, so we're going to loop those over and over and over until we get them all into the web-based loader, uh, until we get, get them all here into the loader list. What's really handy here is w when we create this index with the vector store index creator, it actually expects, uh, from loaders, it expects a, a list. It, it expects a list of loaders. So super handy because we just built the list. If you didn't have this, it would just be a list. If you just had one URL, this would be a list of one. Uh, but what we have is a list of many, obviously. And therefore, that's what we're going to just pass right in. 
And then our answer is we're going to uh, make this variable here ants, ants, answer for short. And then from the index, we are going to do a dot query, and that's the query that we passed in. The query can be huge. You can ask all kinds of questions to ChatGPT, and it'll it'll take those, and it'll just uh, you know uh, turn right through them. Okay, and then we're going to just print a space, and then print the answer. So we'll see the answer show up right here in our console. And that is it. That is the code. This is the one simple function that will build an incredible web scraper. Now, there is more code here, but that's just calling the function. So let me let me bring it up here. This is going to be, okay, so what we're going to do is a, a, an example case. So I don't know if you guys have heard of this uh, uh, Ideogram AI. I, I had a small uh, tutorial on it, just a, a simple use case on my channel. So let's say you wanted to learn about this new technology, and so you had never heard of it, and you really want to, you know, you don't have time to read 10 different websites about this one thing. So you do a quick Google search, and then you just start opening up, you know, all of these uh, links, right, ab about this technology. And, I, uh, well, that's Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So just go through, open up as much as link as, as you want, uh, you may quickly look at this and say, oh yeah, this is something I want to look at, but I don't have time to read all of that. So what you'll do is just copy all of the URLs here, and then you'll come back to your code, and you'll just paste them here. So I've pasted now one, two, three, four. Uh, I've just made a list of URLs. I've pasted them all here, one, two, three, four. And so that's my list. You, this could be a lot bigger, right? This could be 10, 20, 30. Now we need to define the prompt. The prompt is the, that query, you know, the question, what are we going to ask GPT? And we need to make it a little bit generic if we're going to make this program generic, uh, a generic web scraper over a lot of stuff. Okay, the first thing we're going to say is, hey, given the context, so basically given all these URLs that I just gave you and that you're, that you're going to read, what I want is a summary, first off, answer the following. I want a summary of what it is, summary of what it does, a summary of how it, how to use it, and then, hey, by the way, you know, give me five interesting prompts that I could use, you know, with this uh, new AI. Remember, we, we gave it, this, this can be whatever you want. These questions are just like ChatGPT4. These can be complex, simple, uh, but it's going to take all this context for you pull it all down in those web web pages, and then you can just pump it right into ChatGPT4 as its context. And then here, uh, this is calling the function. So you're gonna send it the list, and you're gonna send it a prompt, and we don't need this parameter anymore. What I did have there was an output file. I would write all the answers to an output file. Don't need that now, because we're just gonna do it here on the terminal. Okay, now we are ready to actually run the code. So what we need to do, remember I told you to come over here to OpenAI and grab your API keys. So at this point, you need to now do something with those keys. So you need to export a uh, variable called open uh, API. Let's see, open AI. There's too many APIs, AIs in this thing. Key equals, and then paste in that big giant uh, key that came from the website. So I've already done that. Obviously, I can't show you my API key. You'll, you'll have your own. And so now we are actually ready to demo this thing. So let's call this, um, what do we call it, demo? OK, and let's see how this thing work. So remember, it's printing. It, here we've asked it to print the uh, URLs that it loaded. So it loaded all of them, and now it's working. OK, here's the answer. So. It took all of these URLs and it answered all of these questions for us. So Ideogram AI is an AI powered uh, image generator that allows yada yada. And then here's, what, here's what's neat at the end. Remember that we asked it, please provide five interesting prompts we could use with this AI. Well, look, here, here they are. Uh, you, could, you could ask it a bright uh, yellow sun setting over a desert landscape. So remember, this could be as complex, simple as you need it. So what you've seen is a really simple use case where I used uh, just four websites 
pumped to chat GPT and to ask it uh, some questions, but this really could have just been one website and you could have asked very in-depth uh, questions about that one website, thus doing the web scraping. Or you could have pumped in a hundred uh, different websites and kind of do an overall summary or whatever other things that you, you have in mind. So hope you have fun with the code and build really great apps. Thank you.